ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਸ ਓਨ ਅੰਗ 648 ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਵਾਹਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਤੀਜਾ ਨਾਨਕ ਨਾਵ ਹੁਕਥਿਆ ਹਲਤ ਪਲਤ ਸਭ ਜਾਏ ਜਪ ਤਪ ਸੰਜਮ ਸਭ ਹਿਰ ਲਿਆ ਮੁਠੀ ਦੂਜੇ ਪਾਏ ਨਾਨਕ ਨਾਵ ਹੁਕਥਿਆ ਹਲਤ ਪਲਤ ਸਭ ਜਾਏ ਜਪ ਤਪ ਸੰਜਮ ਸਭ ਹਿਰ ਲਿਆ ਮੁਠੀ ਦੂਜੇ ਪਾਏ ਜਮ ਦਾਰ ਬੱਧੇ ਮਾਰੀਆ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤੀ ਮਿਲੈ ਸਜਾਏ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਤੀਜਾ ਸੰਤਾ ਨਾਲ ਵੈਰ ਕਮਾਵਦੇ ਦੁਸਟਾ ਨਾਲ ਮੋਹ ਪਿਆਰ ਅੱਗੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਸੁਖ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਾਰੇ ਜੰਮਹ ਵਾਰੋ ਵਾਰ ਤ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨਾ ਕਦੇ ਨਾ ਬੁਝਈ ਦੁਬਿਧਾ ਹੋਏ ਖੁਆਰ ਮੋਹ ਕਾਲੇ ਤਿਨਾ ਨਿੰਦਕਾਂ ਤਿਤ ਸੱਚੇ ਦਰਬਾਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਨਾਮ ਵਿਹੂਣਿਆ ਨਾ ਉਰਵਾਰ ਨਾ ਪਾਰ ਪੌੜੀ ਜੋ ਹਰ ਨਾਮ ਧਿਆਏ ਦੇ ਸੇ ਹਰ ਹਰ ਨਾਮ ਰਤੇ ਮਨ ਮਾਹੀ ਜਿਨਾ ਮਨ ਚਿਤ ਇੱਕ ਅਰਾਧਿਆ ਤਿਨਾ ਇੱਕ ਸ ਬਿਨ ਦੂਜਾ ਕੋ ਨਾਹੀ ਸਈ ਪੁਰਖ ਹਰ ਸੇਵ ਦੇ ਜਿਨ ਧੁਰ ਮਸਤ ਕੇ ਲੇਖ ਲਿਖਾਹੀ ਹਰ ਕੇ ਗੁਣ ਨਿਤ ਗਾਵ ਦੇ ਹਰ ਗੁਣ ਗਾਏ ਗੁਣੀ ਸਮਝਾਹੀ ਵਡਿਆਈ ਵੱਡੀ ਗੁਰਮੁਖਾ ਗੁਰਪੂਰੈ ਹਰ ਨਾਮ ਸਮਾਹੀ ਹਰ ਕੇ ਗੁਣ ਨਿਤ ਗਾਵ ਦੇ ਹਰ ਗੁਣ ਗਾਏ ਗੁਣੀ ਸਮਝਾਹੀ ਵਡਿਆਈ ਵੱਡੀ ਗੁਰਮੁਖਾ ਗੁਰਪੂਰੈ ਹਰ ਨਾਮ ਸਮਾਹੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਿਆਰੀ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਵਿਦ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਟੁਡੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸਪੀਕਸ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੇਸ ਨਾਨਕ ਨਾਵ ਹੁਕਥਿਆ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਸੇਸ ਦੋਸ ਹੁ ਕੁਥਿਆ who have given up on the navaho on the name of the lord halat palat sab jaye they jaye they lose sab everything in this world palat in the next world mara sahib ji says that when we die we lose everything that we have gained in this world we had this body when we came onto the earth we don't have that when we leave the money which we've earned with this body we won't have that when we leave the clothes which we wear upon this body we won't have them when we leave all of the things that we earn in this world we lose anyway palut in the next world if we haven't meditated upon the naam we have nothing to take to the next world so in both worlds we have lost maharaj sahib ji says that that person has lost jap tap sanjam sab hir laya muthi du ja pae namara sahib ji says that jap the chanting the tap the austerities of that person the sanjam the self discipline and all of those practices sab all of them hiralaya all of them are wasted but we may ask the question well how is chanting wasted how is keeping self discipline wasted Mara Sahib ji says that they are wasted if mutthi du ja pae if we are carrying out those things and really we have pae we are in love we are attached to du ja to duality if we are attached to gaining material goods if we are attached to these things for selfish means if we are saying wahiguru wahiguru but in our minds we want our neighbor's house to fall down 
Mara Saab ji says that mutthi do ja pae this love of duality this love of evil mindedness renders the austerities and the chanting and the discipline as useless so satguru maharaj ji is telling us to be wary of this that this love of duality will take away from our austerities will take away from our disciplines amara sahib is saying that those people who are in duality who wander from the one akal purukh the ik o ankar that one all pervading all permeating all knowing lord akal purukh those who turn away from waheguru ji and look for anything anywhere else there is nothing anywhere else mara sahib ji is saying jam dar badhe mari yah those who have been in love with duality who have been in love with material gain who have turned away from their lord and master from akal purg from god and looked elsewhere to other demi gods or to other fake holy men in order to fulfill their wishes of their minds mara sahib ji guru amar das ji says jamdar badde mari yah that they are badde they are bound down by their deeds their misdemeanors their bad karma it is our bad deeds which bind us down mari yah and we receive the punishment of our bad deeds bahut hi mila se jaye and they receive the punishments the sajaye of their actions mahalla tija sadguru paasha ji goes on to talk about those people who have turned away from the guru santan aur vair kumavde those people kumavde they inflict their vair they have enmity they are enemies with the saints with those who sing the praises of waheguru dusatan aur moh pyar and they have attachment moh and pyar and love with dust with people who are evil satguru paasha ji is saying that santan aur vair kumavde who are the saints who live within us the saints who live within us are love peace harmony tranquility humility the human being caught up in his own manmat caught up in his egotistical thoughts has vair has enmity with peace doesn't want to live in peace doesn't want to live in harmony doesn't want to live in humility and dostan aur moh pyar and has attachment has love with the dost with the enemies of desire with the enemies of anger with the enemies of hatred with the enemies of slander with the enemies of attachment amara said he says that being attached to these evil qualities mara said he says agga piche sukh nahi agga in this next world piche in this world and in the past sukh nahi amara said he says agga in the future and piche in the past sukh nahi no one has found peace no one has found eternal peace through attachment to these evil qualities to the sinners mar jamma ha waro war instead those people who are attached to ego those people who are attached to desire mar they die and jamma ha they are born again and again in the cycle of reincarnation waro war again and again mar sahib ji says trishna kade na bujjai that trishna that thirsts for worldly gain kade na bujjai can never be put out can never be extinguished why because we are chucking firewood onto the fire how are we going to put out the fire if we keep chucking firewood onto it dubdha hoye khwar amara sahib ji says that they are khwar they are ruined by dubdha by this duality dubdha means to be always contemplating shall i do this shall i not do this shall i do this shall i not do this shall i go left or right shall i go this way or that that is dubda always thinking shall i read next trabani or shall i watch the tv shall i devote my time to the guru or shall i waste it shall i put this into the charity box or shall i spend it on myself amara sahib ji said that this dubda this always dual mindedness 
always pulls us in two directions. Dubda is pulling us left and right. We can't go forwards, we can't walk upon the path if we're always looking left and right. Amara Sahibji says, kale tina nindaka. Those who slander the saints and those who have turned their back on the spiritual qualities, the qualities of karuna, of kindness, the qualities of metri, of seeing the whole world as our friend, the qualities of mudta, of, of destroying our jealousy, the qualities of apekhya, of renouncing worldly desires. We slander these, we turn our back on these. Ammara Sahaji is saying that those who slander the saints, those nindaka, those slanderers, their faces, their muhu akale, their faces are black and tit satya in the court of the Lord. Nanak naam vihunya. Mara Sahaji says that those who are vihunya, those who do not have the naam, the name of the Lord, na urvar, they do not find peace on this shore, na par. And they do not find peace on the other shore, not in this life or any in lives to come. There is never peace for those who are in Dubda, for those who are being ripped in two directions. Pauri. Sadhguru Maharaj Sahib Ji says, Jo hare naam tiyaide. Those who tiyaide, those who meditate upon the name of Hari, of the Lord, of the nourisher of this world. Say, hare hare naam ratte man mahi. Mahi, within their man, within their mind, they are ratte, they are imbued, they are coloured in. The name of the Lord of Hari of Vahiguru. Jina man chit ik radhya tina ikas bin duja ko nahi. Mara Sahib Ji says that those who have truly radhya have truly meditated upon ik, on one, on the one Lord, on ik o ankar. Those who have truly understood, those who have truly embraced ik o ankar. Tina ikas bin duja ko nahi. Without ikas, without, without that one Lord, without Vahiguru, Duja ko nahi. They do not look to any other. They have given up the dubda. They have given up looking around. Sayi purk har sevade. Those beings har sevade. Serve Hari, serve the Lord. Jin tormastak lekh likhahi. Who have such tormastak, preordained fortune upon their mastak, upon their foreheads. Har ke gun nit gavde. And those blessed beings nit Every day, Gavde sing the praises, the virtues, the gun of Hari of Vahiguru. Har gun gaye, guni samachahi. They sing, they gaye, the gun, the praises of Vahiguru themselves. Guni samachahi. And they explain, samachahi means to explain and encourage others to sing the guni, the virtues of Vahiguru. Vadiyai vadi gurmukha. Mara Sahib Ji says that the vadiyai, the greatness of the gurmuks or the followers of the guru is vadi is amazing it is awesome it is vast gurpura hare naam samahi and through the grace of the pura perfect guru they samahi they absorb they merge into the name of the lord so in today's hukuna mara sahib ji has told us that if we turn our back on the guru there is no peace and there is no respite and that the only way of achieving peace, the only way of achieving harmony within is by meditating upon the Naam and by dedicating ourselves to the Guru. Har ke gun nit gaav de Har gun gaay guni samjahi Vade aai vadi gur mukha Gur pura har naam is mahi Vaheguru ji ka khalsa Vaheguru ji ki fatihe